Today on 10-Minute IG Jams, we have Mark DeGuara, who is the General Manager for Data Centres for Schneider Electric. So a welcome to the jam, Mark. Thanks, Nick. Nice to meet you. You too. How are you? Very good. Um, so we're going to be talking a lot about Schneider's recent collaboration with Cisco and LEDC. So first of all, could you tell me quickly how this came about? Yeah, so I suppose uh, certainly with Cisco, uh, Schneider Electric's had quite a long-standing relationship with Cisco over many years in terms of supporting uh, the IT industry, uh, both from an infrastructure perspective, from Schneider Electric's perspective, and certainly from a, a networking perspective from Cisco. So as I said, that, that relationship's been long-standing. Um, leading edge, certainly from a, a Schneider Electric perspective, I'll go back to sort of uh, late 2019, uh, Leading Edge came to Schneider Electric looking for a technology partner um, in relation to building their data centres, so their prefabricated data centres. So uh, long story short, you know, Schneider Electric was chosen by Leading Edge then to be their technology partner. Um, and towards the end of 2020, um, certainly as part of that rollout, uh, Leading Edge required support around the network infrastructure and certainly Cisco, when you look at their capabilities and skill set, you know, matched up um, exactly with what Leading Edge was requiring. So fundamentally from late 2020, um, the collaboration between the three companies um, started there, although, you know, in various aspects and forms. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and in terms of the regional rollout of data centres in Australia specifically, what uh, roles are the, these three companies playing? Yeah, so from the from the rollout itself, so Leading Edge is, is the company that's deploying the data centres. So uh, Leading Edge is deploying uh, 75 uh, rack uh, prefabricated data centres into regional Australia. Uh, as I indicated earlier, uh, Schneider Electric is the technology partner. So as part of that, not only do we provide the, the technology that's in the data centre, we're actually with our partner building the facilities and also providing managed services along with that. Uh, then Cisco with their um, network capability is providing the um, network backbone within the facilities and then allowing that to then obviously be connected up uh, into regional Australia through the various uh, telecommunication providers, uh, MBN as a backbone and setting up uh, the networks, which connectivity is a, a key aspect of the, the regional data centre play and bringing that to regional Australia. Oh, yeah. And can you tell me if there's any be, if there's been any um, key successes or milestones of the collaboration that you've uh, seen so far? Yeah, absolutely. I think um, certainly the announcements about um, being the technology provider and Cisco as well. I think that in itself is a milestone. You know, to have the trust uh, put in both companies or all three companies uh, to be able to deliver this. And then Newcastle uh, being opened recently, uh, being the first one that's on site, up and running, clients are moving into there. Um, did a re uh, recent um, little walkthrough with both Leading Edge and Cisco and presenting the technologies there. I think that was a little milestone. Uh, and then obviously the rollout of the other data. So it's Tamworth is physically on the ground now, uh, due for completion shortly. Uh, Dubbo was coming online. It's being prefabricated as we speak now and just due to be completed and rolled to site. Uh, and Albury is the next facility. So I think each one of the facilities is a milestone in itself, uh, the physical delivery of it, um, and then bringing that to each of the regions uh, as it rolls out. So each facility has its own, even though they're identical, in principle, the locations they're going into are different. So each town has its own requirements and its own idiosyncrasy, so to speak. But there's a milestone in itself and then being able to connect up uh, and the whole story that then plays out from there on um, is a milestone in itself. Cool. Yeah. Um, a bit of a more general question for you, but yeah. what does Schneider Electric and bring to the data centre space, um, especially in Australia? I think uh, one of the key things Schneider Electric brings is diversity of our offering. So if I look at what Schneider Electric brings, and if I take the, the prefabricated data centre, fairly well everything inside it um, is being provided by Schneider Electric. So that's the um, UPSs, the cooling, the racks, the power distribution, uh, the monitoring platforms, the digital services. So that that's very much from a physical perspective. And then if we start to look at the other things that Schneider Electric brings is our sustainability criteria or credentials, I should say, uh, not just in terms of energy efficiency, but about 
uh, diversity in what we bring in terms of our employees, uh, the sustainability around environmental in terms of being able to recycle products, uh, the products we develop. Uh, the other thing is our uh, regional capability, our support services. I think the other thing too is our digital capability and the monitoring platform. Certainly as you move out into regional Australia and you can actually argue for any data centre, of course, that ability to monitor and support real time uh, and bringing that to the table. Um, and I think the other thing is we're looking at new ways to um, bring our technologies to this um, facility as we move forward. So not just going with what we have today, but as we bring new technologies in, new solutions saying, well, how would they be applicable for what we're doing today? Can we implement them? Uh, looking at around those whole uh, sustainability criteria, uh, energy management, uh, and that whole diversification of the data centre and the digitisation um, of the data centre and digitisation of energy as well. Awesome, yeah. Um, and finally for you, Mark, going back to the um, collaboration, uh, what is Schneider's vision for it? What's in the future? I think the, the vision for us is if, if I take it back to the fundamentals, uh, Leading Edge um, came to us the idea or the concept of, you know, uh, bringing the digital economy to regional Australia. So if I look at Leading Edge's vision and then say, well, how does, how does Schneider uh, take that vision and then expand it. I think the first very fundamental thing is enabling that vision. You know, the ability to take that vision that Leading Edge has, and you can see it in real terms now, you know, data centers on the ground, they're open, um, and Schneider Electric enabling that. So in its fundamental perspective is yes, Schneider Electric enabling that. I think the other thing is bringing that digital economy um, to the regions, taking our technologies and Schneider Electric's technologies obviously a global platform, of course, of what we have, but taking that, building the facilities here in Australia, and then taking that out to the regional parts of Australia. So it's that whole life cycle uh, of what Schneider Electric brings. So for me, the vision in, in isolation is enabling Leading Edge's vision. So I think at the core of everything we're doing around the partnership is enabling that vision to occur because ultimately, if Leading Edge is successful, uh, then we're successful as a flow on and as would be the partnership with Cisco as well. So for us, it's very much about enabling that. Perfect. Well, yeah, cool. That brings us to the end of today's interview. Thanks for uh, taking the time to join me today, Mike. Thanks, Nick.